on uh, ne next Sunday. Hallelujah. Uh, you don't forget to visit the bookstore. The bookstore, every book you buy goes to sponsor a missionary or to plant a church. Hallelujah. At the end of the service, it's going to be a table there. And any book that you buy, I believe that the price is set on the books. Any book that you buy is being sent to sponsor missionaries. Hallelujah. Praise God. I believe that's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word? Ready. Hallelujah. Our God is, a, is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. When, when you are told to come and preach, just like, oh, God. You're like, oh, God. No, Lord. Let the worship just keep on. Let the worship keep going. God, let the worship. Let, we, let it be a time where we just worship till it's like one. It's like, okay, we, we just worship. Let's, let, let's just move on. But God said, uh-uh. Hallelujah. And when you prepare, oh, yes, we release the children. Amen. The children are released. Amen. To go. And we bless our children, hallelujah. We confess that they are, they, they are revivalist giants in the army of the Lord. From nine years old downward, hallelujah. We thank you for our children. We thank you for the next generations. We thank you, Lord, for what you have in store for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, you, you can't just come up and, and preach what you like. Amen. There has to be a burden that has been lifted. That, that God has put in your heart. Amen. So that you can share the mind of Christ. Amen. So uh, this morning, the burden that God has put in my heart, uh, we're going to read it. Uh, David, get ready. You're going to, we're going to read it in Ezekiel. Ezekiel, let's read from Ezekiel 44 from verse 6. You can just have the whole chapter, uh, David. Ezekiel 44 from verse 6. And what is my heart is, or the, the title of the sharing this morning, I really wanted to preach, amen, but God wants me to teach this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The title of my message is Raising the Sons of Zadok for the End Times. Raising the Sons of Zadok for these end times. The Bible says in Ezekiel 44 verse 1, so verse 6, Now say to the rebellious, to those, or to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, O house of Israel, let us have no more of, the, of your abominations. When you brought the foreigners, the uncircumcised in heart, the uncircumcised in the flesh, to be in my sanctuary, to defile, to defile it, my house, when you offered my food, the fats and the bloods, then you broke my covenant because of your abomination. So to give some context here, this is Ezekiel, who is having an encounter. Uh, I think a couple of chapters before, God just picked him up by the head, and God was showing him the temple. God showed him the glory. And here God is talking to him about the children of Levi, those who are supposed to care for the temple of the Lord. So as we're going to see further down, in the Levites, we automatically see two camps. Those who defiled themselves and defiled the temple of the Lord, but, but, and, and, and those who kept themselves pure. Let's keep run, uh, reading all the way to verse 9. Amen. And you have not kept charge of my holy things, but you have set others to keep charge of the to keep charge of my sanctuary for you. Basically, you have given up your responsibility so that others who are undefiled, those who are not supposed to do it, I, I do it, I keep in charge of it. Amen. Verse 9, thus says the Lord God, no foreigners uncircumcised in heart or, or uncircumcised in the flesh shall enter my sanctuary. Nothing foreign shall enter my sanctuary. Amen. We're going to translate all this in the New Testament version. So let's, let's jump to, let's keep going to verse 10. Amen. And the Levite who went, who went far from me, when Israel went astray, who, who strayed away from me, after their idols shall bear their iniquities. Basically, we can see that the heart of God, God was not happy about what was happening. Amen. Verse 11. Yet they shall be ministers in my sanctuary as gatekeepers. Hallelujah. They shall be ministers. They, 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 will not be in, they will not be in the Holy of Holies, but they will be in the outer courts, in the gates, 
the keeping my gates. Amen. We refuse to be one of those who are gatekeepers. Hallelujah. We want to serve God in the Holy of Holies. We want to raise a generation who serve God in the Holy of Holies. We don't want to be average Christians that just want to go to church because we want to go to church. We want to make sure that we are serving God as we were sharing with the young, the young men yesterday. People who are, uh, people who are serving God with eternity in mind knowing that i am serving god because it is counting towards eternity i'm not coming to church because my parents wants me to come to church i'm not coming to church because so and so i want to please someone i'm coming to church because i'm serving god and, I, and i'm living a life that is counting towards eternity living a life that counts towards eternity not i don't want to be an average i just don't want to make it in heaven i want to be in heaven i don't want to be those that i don't know if i'm in I'm, so the days of lukewarm christianity is it's over. God is calling his body. God is calling the church to be radical, to be radical for that which he has called us. Eternity minded. Hallelujah. Tell to your neighbor, eternity minded. Let's, uh, let's, just, uh, let's just jump to verse, to verse uh, 15, amen, which is the, the core of our message this morning. But the priests, the Levites, the sons of Zadok, can we read that together? Verse 15, 1, 2, 3, go. But the priests, the Levite, the sons of Zadok, who kept charge of my sanctuary, the children, when the children of Israel went astray from me. Let's just let's let, let just stop there hallelujah but in the midst of the, the truth in the midst of the truth of levites there were those that kept charge of the sanctuary other translation says that they are those who were faithfully serving the lord in the times of darkness in the times where the people went astray i'm declaring tonight i'm declaring this morning that god is raising the sons of zadok those who will distinguish themselves i'm not going to follow the trend that is happening outside i'm not following what 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 will make all that uh, uh, look good? I am following God because that is my service unto God. This is my assignment. So we see here uh, the sons of Zadok. And all, all of a sudden, we see that they kept, uh, they kept the charge of my sanctuary. When the children of Israel, when the children of Israel, including some of the Levites, went astray from him, they shall come near to minister to me. In other words, in some translation, they shall come near to minister in front of me. They shall come near to minister in the Holy of Holies. They shall come and they shall Stand before me to offer. There are two things here. They shall come. They shall come near me, and they shall stand before me. Hallelujah. We want not to be. We don't want to be gatekeepers. Those who are letting the priests go into the holy of holies. We want to be those who are entering into the holy of holies. Long ago, gone are the days where we are satisfied with the outer court. Where gone are the days when we are satisfied with what we see oh in around us. We want to see more of God. We want to see the power of God manifest in this generation. So we see the sons of Zadok. For some reason, I was like, okay, who is this Zadok that all of a sudden he becomes a point of reference? As we can see back all the way, he, go, he goes back to David. And this is hundreds of years after. This is Ezekiel. Ezekiel is also a priest. And hundreds of years after, the name of Zadok is mentioned. Oh, may you be a point of reference in your family. A, a round of years will go back. They shall say, this man, because of, because of Elder Clement, our generation has turned its eyes, oh God, following God. Because of Dr. Ray, all oh, our lineage has been transformed because of it. May you be a point of reference for God good. May you be a point of reference serving God. Or may you be a standard that God will raise. Or say, oh, the sons of Zadok. The sons the sons of Elizabeth Mark. The sons of us. Ex, sons of Y. They are serving God. They kept my charge. They were not just following. And the name Zadok means righteous. The sons of righteousness. Hallelujah. They kept charge. A hundred years after that, he was mentioned. He did not say some of the sons, the sons of Zadok. Other versions say the descendants of Zadok. The whole descendant serving God. The Bible does not mention much about what Zadok has done, how he raised his family, all that. No, we just saw the fruit of his work. We just saw the fruit of his work. Because as a high priest in the times of David, you know, we, 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 want, to, you know, we want to see a, a whole chapter written about him. 
but, but, but we know that spiritual success did not just happen by, by chance. He did not just succeed like that spiritually with spiritual breakthrough in his lineage. hundred years after that, he's still mentioned. Basically, the investment that he put, I believe, to his children, bear generational fruits. May your investment bear generational fruits. Oh, I want to pray with you. May your investment over your children bear generational fruit. May your investment over your children bear generational fruit. May your investment over your spiritual children bear generational fruit. I don't want to raise a child that will go to hell, oh Lord. I want to raise a child. After my child is gone, his children, children, children are serving God. I don't want only, I used to pray, Lord, I want my children, oh God. Uh, what is the Psalm, Psalm 23? Oh, they will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of their life. This is great. I want them to dwell and to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Not just to dwell in the house of the Lord. It's a great thing to dwell in the house of the Lord. We thank God for the dwelling in the house of the Lord, but we want them to serve. Hallelujah. I believe that Zadok was training his children to serve in the house of the Lord because as a high priest, your role, your job was to train your child to to serve because he, he was to replace you. Hallelujah. He, he, he was to see exactly, this is how I'm offering sacrifices. This is how I'm doing. So our children must be trained to serve God. A generation that just don't want to come, just want to come to church and just warm the chairs. No, we are praying for a generation. We are crying out for a generation that will serve God, that will distinguish themselves from what is around him. A generation that will consecrate themselves and say, oh yes, this is my portion, serving the Lord. I'm not ashamed of serving God. I'm not ashamed oh God, of, of, of being called a, a Jesus boy or someone who is religious. I will serve God as the children of Zadok that will serve him faithfully. Oh Lord, we pray, oh God, for generational fruit. We pray, oh God, our labor will bear fruit generationally. Oh, that's my prayer for you. That's my prayer for myself. That's my prayer for the church as well. Let CMFI Miracle Center be a church that bear generational fruit. May we not be contented by just the one generation. May the, may, may the baton of revival be passed on to the next generation. May the next generation of the Paul and David, oh, may, may them run the finish, uh, the, may they run the race uh, faithfully until the end. Hallelujah. That's our mandate for the generation. It's not just okay for us to make it. Our children shall make it. Not some of our children. All our children. The Bible says that all your children, as we prayed, shall be taught of the Lord. All your children. Not some of your children. Tonight, I mean this morning, I don't know, it's night somewhere. Hallelujah. <laughs> my prayer, my burden... And that, and that is becoming my call as well now. Raising the sons of Zadok for the end times. When I, I, I got this message, I did not know who, who Zadok was. I've heard of Zadok. God said, this is your assignment. Raising the sons. I was like, who's Zadok? <laughs> but the descendants of Zadok, they distinguished themselves. We're raising a generation that will serve God. There's no option. You know, just a little bit about me. I got saved in, in 2000. Can you believe that? I was 11 years old. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I've, I vaguely, I, I remember exactly what happened. It was uh, the father of Dr. Lisbeth, uh, Brother Zach, we, we used to call him. He was preaching. I remember the date, November, the 4th of November, 2000. He came for a, a crusade. And uh, I don't know what I, I heard what he said, what, what he preached. I guess the conviction just led me in front there. But there was a defining moment in my life. Maybe I could say, you know, <laughs> they usually say that children who are born in Christian homes have two types of encounters. The first encounter, your mother tells you, your mom, the father tells you, you got no choice, but you go to church. That's my mom. Mm -mm. Like, Sunday is church. It's for God. This household is a priestly house for God. So there is no, I, I'm not raising a child. I will not go to church. And it is another encounter where you encounter God for yourself. 
for some reason, when I got saved, I felt that um, being a Christian was the punishment. Like, look at all the people, they are, they, they are sinning, and they're having fun. Oh, what, what is this? <laughs> they're going to parties, and, and they're happy. When they, come to ch- when, when they show up at, at school, they have a gang of people around them. And look at you, a Christian, you're just walking by yourself. You have no friends. <laughs> but not knowing that, I am a son of Zadok. I am a son of Zadok. But it was like, oh, what, what, what's going on? What, this Christian thing, maybe it's for old people, you know? Maybe it's just for, for old people. And we're poor too, you know, that, that didn't help. <laughs> yeah, we were poor. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why when you look back, where God took you from, you can just cry. When you look back at this young man who could not even speak, you can see the glory of God. When you look back at this shy boy, who could not even stand in front of the class. And, 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 and I remember one incident. I could not, they asked me a question and they pulled me in front of the class and said, answer this question. I was stomaching so bad. I was doing like this to somebody in front of the class. I said, jab, 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 all the class. The shame, I was like, oh God, why did you even create me? Why am I in here? When you look back on what God has done, when you look back and see what God has done, when you look back on someone who did not know, who did not know what God God could do when you look back at God's mercy. When you look back that God has set you apart as a son of Zadok. When you look back, not knowing that God has a plan for you, I'm here to talk to someone. You don't know what, what you're going through. Oh, God is setting you up for success. You don't know your circumstances. Oh, maybe your father has gone. Or I was raised by my mother. If you did not know that, my mother raised us. And my father left at the age of 11. But God knew, but God knew God is a father to the fatherless. But God knew, but God knew that you're going through this journey not by your, not, not for yourself. God is shaping you. God is shaping you. But that's why when you when you see someone standing, you, you, you may not know his, uh, his 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 story. Amen. Oh yeah, we were so poor that the poor were saying that. Mm-mm, no, I don't think I want to be like them. We were so poor that even to buy medication, it was not even possible. You know, we just have to create medication, you know. You, 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 you get uh, soap, you boil it. I was like, what type of medication is that? <laughs> but not knowing that the word of God has gone ahead. Consecrated to God. I don't know if, well, if my mom knew what she said. That Lord, I, 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 when she declared, said, the Lord, I give you this child. She did not know. Go growing up, I stayed focused on, on school. That school was, you know, a, a shield. I was just like, you no, know, just school, you know. I would just do one thing right. You know, this Christian thing may not be working well for me. It's like, you know, I, I would just be good. I would just be, you know, I would just excel at school. Then maybe, you know, I would, I would not be considered as poor, poor, poor. But in... 2004, I had an encounter with the Lord. Remember, I got saved in 2000, amen? Children, children who are born in the household, I, I, I said I, they are saved twice, hallelujah. <laughs> I was challenged by two young girls. Two young girls. They loved the Lord. I'm God. I was like, wow, Christians can be this happy. What is wrong with them? They were on fire for God. The zeal of God. You can see the zeal of God over them. The joy of the Lord. They will come to meetings. Sharing around my, med- my Bible meditation. This is what the Lord has taught me. I'm like, hey, joy. I was like, who are these people? Not knowing that God was using them as role models for me. So the world is in need of role models. Your generation is in need of role models. So Mishka, the world is in need of you. Oh, Josiah, the world is in need of you. May you stand as a, as, as a model to them. If Jesus has done it in my life, he can do it in your life. If Jesus Christ has done it in my life, he can do it in my life. You can be a Christian and be happy. Can you believe that? that, that, that that's all I needed? Can you believe that? It's like, what? Christian. 
but happy. I said, God, okay. I need, I, I believe it was in September. I said, God, I, I want to experience that joy. Not knowing that God was just orchestrating everything. And in September of, 20, oh, of uh, 2004, I went into my room and I knelt down. I dedicated my life to Christ. And all of a sudden, there was, it was just like a, the wind that just blew in and knocked me off. I'm like, I good up. I was like, who, who, who is here? No knowing that I had an encounter with God. And since that time, my life has never been the same. Since that time, my life has never been the same. Oh, I'm a lover of Jesus. I'm a happy man. Hallelujah. I love Jesus with a whole heart. There's no time to play lukewarm Christianity. I serve God and thank God that God has snatched me at the right time. There was this girl who was after me. Can you believe that? My God, I was a shy man. I could never talk to girls. But God, the devil has brought something to talk to me. My God. And thank God that same Saturday, God just snatched me. The power of prayers of parents so don't give up on your son don't give up on your daughter don't give up the prayers i was heard at the right time god just snatched me that's why i'm always grateful for my mom hallelujah so don't give up do not give up so that's why we need to represent god we need to represent god the call of the sons of Zadok is to represent God. It's to represent the nature of God, the holiness of God, the righteousness of God, the consecration of what it means to serve God. Or oh, I am consecrated and set apart for God. It's not, because, it's not because I can do it that I should do it. I have been set apart, consecrated to God. The sons of Zadok, they were set apart, serving God faithfully in the midst of darkness. Well, we thank God just to cut the, the, the story short. I came in 2006, two years after that, in, Amer in, in America. We thank God for uh, Tata Liz, hallelujah, who hosted us. Amen. Come on, let's clap to the Lord. For the, clap the hand to the Lord for that. And the bishop as well. And, and since then, the, the fire has not diminished. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a testimony. May, you, may God use you as a testimony to your generation. I'm speaking to the young people. There's just something about the youth for this generation. May God use you, Cynthia, for your generation. May God use you, Mishka, for this generation. Because the, son, because the earth is expecting the manifestation of the sons of God and the daughters of God. Oh, may you not uh, diminish, may, may you not uh, uh, feel as though you're not good enough. Oh, I, I, I need to go to Bible school uh, to, for, for, for me to, to have a microphone. No, just serve God where God is placing you. Serve God and serve God faithfully. 2006, I joined the church, and since then, I've been serving back there. Hallelujah. We were at the, at the rescue mission, serving God, just back there, faithfully, just serving God, son of Zadok, just serving God, just serving God. I remember the first time Dr. Liz said, oh, yeah, we, we need help. I think you can. I said, sure. So don't be an idle member of the church. Don't be, an, don't be an idle militant. Don't be an idle member of the army of God. Serve God. Serve God. I still remember vividly the picture of Tonto Paul picking us at the airport in September 18, 2006. Hallelujah. My God. To serve in the media since 2000, and we did not have a media at the time. Then the media grew, we had, you know, we went well. And the first time I had the opportunity to hold the microphone up here was seven years after serving. Seven years, 2013, still remember that, crossing over from 2012 to 13. Serving God faithfully, serving God faithfully. What, what is it that God has called you? Have you served God faithfully with eternity in mind? What is it that God has told you to do? 
It can be praying for the nation. It can be praying for your children. It can be praying for, for even the pastor. Are you faithful in serving God? Are you faithful in serving God with all your heart? Knowing that this is an assignment I received from God. And there's a reward that is waiting for me. You want to end up that day that God calls you good and faithful servant. Not just good. Though it's good, good servant. But you want to be like the sons of Zadok. Faithfully servant. Good and faithful servant. May we be those who are counted, counted faithful in serving God. Not those that are just, just serve God once in a while. A lifestyle of serving God. That's my cry. A lifestyle or the discipline. Because it's, it's, it's one thing to just serve God one off. But it, it comes in with built-in discipline. Amen. I'm so blessed to see the, the, the young destiny and young um, Emmanuel playing, God, play, uh, playing for God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's clap for Jesus for that. It comes with discipline in serving God. Discipline. You have to wake up. You have to practice. It's not just one Sunday a year. Discipline. May God raise them as sons of Zadok who will faithfully serve the Lord all the days of their life. And in 2015, I got married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To my beautiful wife. Hallelujah. As virgins. And God has blessed us with two children, Adora and Enoch. And uh, in September, we'll be celebrating six years of marriage. Wow. Six years. My goodness. Hallelujah. Six years. I'm like, why? Six years. Bishop celebrating 17. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Amen. More grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Raising the sons of Zadok in these end times. That is my prayer. Raising the sons of Zadok in these end times. So we're just going to talk about the two characteristics of who are sons of Zadok. Then after that we will pray. Maybe we can put in the, in the board Genesis 39 from 7 to, 7 to 12. The sons of Zadok kept charge of my sanctuary when the children of Israel went astray. The sons of Zadok are those who choose righteousness even when no one is watching. Choose not to sin even when there's no one watching. We are very familiar with the story of Joseph. Joseph is one of my favorite Bible character or Bible um, person in the Bible. He, he's just, his story just a, a blessing and ministers to me every single time. The Bible said that it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eye, eyes on Joseph. Oh, may, may God shield you from longing eyes. Hallelujah. May God protect you from longing eyes. May God shield you from longing eyes. May God shield you from temptation. Hallelujah. Whether it be your phone temptation, whether it be the TV temptation, longing eyes may not just be a person. It, it can be something that you're doing. It, 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 it can be a place and that you're going to. Longing eyes can be anything that, you, that, 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 that is around you. May God shield you from longing eyes. Hallelujah. She said, lie with me. Verse 8. But he refused. Hallelujah. May God raise sons and daughters that will refuse to sin against God. But he refused. He did not negotiate. He did not uh, debate. He did not say, well, well, you know. It's, uh, no, no, no. He but he refused. He said, no. Oh, may God raise sons of, uh, sons of Zadok in the church. May God raise sons of Zadok in our midst. May God raise sons of Zadok in, uh, in America that will refuse to sin against God. But he refused and said, uh, his master's, master's wife, look, my master does not know what it is with me in the house because uh, because everything that the master has given it was just being charged but he says that but he has not committed but he has not committed all but he has committed all that he has into my hands verse verse uh, verse 9 but there is 
no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me, but you because you are his wife, hallelujah. How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? May God raise people in our midst that will say, I will not sin against God. A holy a holy fear, an increasing fear against the things that are wicked towards God. The things that are wicked, that, that are sin towards God. Oh Lord, I pray for an increasing hatred of sin. Let, let the Zadok arise. Let the son of Zadok arise. We pray, oh God, the thing that we have tolerated, Lord, forgive us, oh God. We pray, oh God, for your holy anger, for your holy anger, oh God, or oh, refusing to sin because it displeased the Lord. Joseph was not saying, well, no, you know, uh, you know, he was he refu- the first thing that the Bible said, he refused. How can I sin? Not against my master. But how can I first sin? How can I sin against God? How can I sin against God? Verse 10. So it was, as she spoke to Joseph that day, uh, so, it, so it was as she spoke to David, to, to Joseph, day by day. My God, day by day, she was not giving up. Day by day, what is that temptation that is around you? Day by day, that you cannot even remove yourself from. Is, is it your phone a temptation? Day by day. I need my, is it your job a temptation? Day by day. Now you, you, you go to work, the temptation is there. You are housed, the temptation is there. Oh, may you, may that holy anger, oh, the, the, may that holy anger do not, diminish amen may the holy anger do not uh, reduce oh joseph was not negotiating about the things that are evil against god but day by day she persisted oh but he did not heed her amen she he did not obey he did not yield he did not he did not yield joseph was no i cannot sin against god verse verse 11 But it happened about the time, about this time, when Joseph went into the house to do his work. Amen. Joseph was not planning about it. A sin does not, so you usually don't plan sin. Amen. He said, okay, I'm going to go to this house and I'm going to, no, no, no. The sin is just rotting, just, just, just waiting, just, just waiting for an open door. Amen. But Joseph, every day, it was a no, it was a no, it was a no. But, but, but he went into the room where there was none of the men of the house was inside. Verse 12. Amen. Verse 12, that she caught him by his garment. Oh, God. She caught him by his garment. She caught that, that, that Joseph by his garment and saying, lie with me. But he left his garment in, the, in her hand and fled and ran. Hallelujah. Joseph is saying that I'd rather be humiliated than to sin against God. I'd rather be humiliated. I'd rather be look funny but to sin against God. I'd rather be humiliated and see what is this madman. I'd rather be mad but to sin against God. I'd rather be look funny on social media but to sin against God. I'd rather be look funny at school, but to sin against God. And I will look funny in my family, but to sin against God. Oh, a mindset of, of, of serving God, of, of being right with God, of, of not sinning, of holiness at the cost of yourself. He ran. May God raise men and women that will, reign, that will run away from sin. Let the young men, let the young girls May they run away from sin. Relationships that are bad, run away from it. People around you that are negative, run away from it. I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be by myself than to have a group of people who are sinning and corrupting me. I'd rather be by myself. That's what happened to the, to the sons of Zadok. We, we'd rather be this one family. We'd rather be just us. Amen. With the children, the Bible said it, when the whole Israel went astray, the whole Israel, not only the Levite, the whole Israel, they were saying, we'd rather be by ourselves. That, 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 not even a tribe, that family, that clan, we'd rather be by, by ourselves than to be with those that are going astray. I'd rather be by myself with no friends, with no 
friend on social media with zero friend requests. Hallelujah. Uh, but I don't be by myself serving God. Uh, but, but, but to have, you know, your social media, 3,000 friends uh, that are leading you to hell. Oh, God, help us. Once you see sin, you run. Hallelujah. You don't negotiate with sin. You don't say, you know, okay, well, okay, uh, uh, just, 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 just hold this thing right here. Okay, let me explain to you. But my master, uh-uh. At that time, Joseph has upgraded his serious request. You don't say, you know what, my, my, master, give, my, my master has not kept, kept from you. But, you know, no, no, no. It was not a time to tell her uh, to tell her what he has been telling her every day. No, no, no. Now is a time to flee. I don't want to be caught. Uh, it's time to flee. There has to, be, there has to be a time to flee and to run. A time to flee. I don't know where, who I'm talking to. That relationship you're into, it's not a good one. It is time to flee. Call, tell to your neighbor, it may be time to flee. <laughs> Joseph fled almost naked. Looking like a fool. I'd rather serve God. I'd rather please God. Than to, to please someone else. Eternity minded. No negotiation. Well, there's no one here. There's, there's no one here. After that, I will repent and ask God to forgive me because it was not my fault. You know, she actually pulled me. There was nothing. No. No negotiation, no compromise. A lifestyle of no compromise. The devil usually comes in. The Bible said he say, roaring lion. Who's that? there. It's there. Just looking for the time. But Joseph you know, fled and ran. It was one thing that the Bible said that he just fled. No, 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 no. He fled and ran. My God. <laughs> that speaks of the level of hatred of sin that he had that speaks of the level of reverence that he has for God. That speaks of like how I can, no, there's no way, no interest. My mind cannot even comprehend such a sin. I will flee and run. He did not run inside. The Bible says he ran outside. <laughs> he could have ran inside, locked the door. He she could have come into the to the window. Mm -mm. No compromise here. The Bible says he fled and outside. Oh, may you flee around. <laughs> no, not just inside, outside. My God. Joseph. I, I, I mean, may, may God give us such a reverence of fear. That's what uh, that is. I was always praying. Lord, I pray for an increase of the hatred of sin. Increase of hatred of sin. Lord, Lord may, may, may you break my heart with the things that breaks your, your heart, oh God. Sons of Zadok, those are the prayers that we are to pray. For others, it may be okay, but not for Joseph. Not for Joseph. He did not compromise. Amen. The second characteristic of the sons of Zadok. They don't compromise in the midst of darkness. They don't compromise in the midst of darkness. The first one was holiness, even when no one is watching. The second one is they don't compromise in the midst of darkness. In other words, they don't go with the flow when, because everyone is going. They, they remain uncorrupted and pure. Because they know that they are serving God. Let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel, verse, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 12. We're going to read the, 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 the story of, of Samuel. The Bible says that the sons of Eli were corrupt. May, may our children not be corrupt. Hallelujah. The sons of Eli were corrupt. My God. They did not know the Lord. They were, they were priests. Did you know that? Priests. The sons of Eli. We're not raising the sons 
of Eli's for the, for, for the generation. We are raising the sons of Zadok. They were corrupt. And let's jump to uh, verse 17 and, and 18. Death. Yes, that's it. Therefore, the sin of the young men, those priests, so-called priests, was so great before the Lord for, for men aboard the offering of the Lord. The sin of those men were so great in the eyes of the Lord. Verse 18. Someone say but. Someone say but. But we thank God for the sons of Zadok. Hallelujah. Uh, but Samuel ministered before the Lord even as a child. Hallelujah. But Samuel was not, was not moved, was not carried away by the sons of Eli, even though they were surely living in the same house, even though they, they were reporting to the same uh, high priest. But Samuel said, uh, the sons of Eli, they were corrupted. Therefore, um, I shall protect myself, uh, not to be corrupted. I shall distinguish myself. I shall, I, I shall, I shall preserve myself. I shall cover myself from the corruption. I don't want to be like that. They, they are not my role model. I am a son. We, in, we can, in other words, we can say, they, I am a son of Zadok, set apart for God, uh, faithfully serving God um, all the days of my life. The Bible says that Samuel ministered before the Lord. Samuel ministered before the Lord. And that was the calling of the sons of Zadok. They were called to minister before the Lord. Samuel did not get corrupted. He did not get corrupted by what was happening around him. Oh, Samuel guarded, uh, guarded his heart, guarded his eyes, guarded his mind. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about the four gates of the souls that needed to be guarded, amen, against corruption. Hallelujah. We're praying against the corruption. Hallelujah. The corruption of this age, uh, what I be sexual immorality, perversion, even, even homosexuality, trans uh, the transgenders, and all of those, you know, LGBTQ, and ZWS, all of those names. Uh, we are protecting ourselves. Uh, from all of those, hallelujah. But we have, we have to guard. We have to guard our gate. We have to guard the gate. We don't just protect ourselves by saying, I am protected. And then you, you watch a movie, you're like, I watch the movie, it starts well. And all of a sudden, all right, this guy and this guy, what's going on? The oops, too late. You've seen, right? And even some movies are not even, they're not rating any movies anymore. Because you could say, I don't watch any R movie. No. But doesn't know it's it's it is we have to guard ourselves. So we're gonna talk about the we're gonna talk about the first gate. Our first gate is the eye. Hallelujah. We have to guard our eyes. Hallelujah. What we see. As sons of Zadok, our eyes are consecrated to the living God. Our whole body, we are serving God. Our body is a, it's, it's living, um, it's a living sacrifice unto God. A pleasing living sacrifice unto God. And an aroma of sweet fragrance unto the Lord. That's why what we see matters. Let's open our Bible to Matthew 6, verse 22 and 23. The Bible says, that's, the Bible says something specific about the eyes. Because what you see will affect you. What you see affects your mind. You start compromising because it is just okay. You have seen it so much that it becomes not natural and normal to you. You have seen the gaze. You have seen it so much that it, it, it is okay. That's why it is important for us as your church to, to raise the bar so high for our children. That is not okay. We train our children, men and men. That's not okay. God created them male and female, not male and men, and tell them go and multiply. There was no Adam and, and there was no Steve and, and Eve. Huh? No, no. There was Steve and Adam, right? There was Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. God created them for a reason. Amen? We're not here to change the design of God and create laws that would change the design of God. That's what our children need to be taught at home. The law of first mention. Because the first thing that they hear, it will start creating things in their mind. I say, okay, yeah, that's okay. Because children were coming out from, from, from school are telling you, that, why are you guys praying so much about the gay thing? You know, there are people as well, right? Why are you? Why? why but, 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 you know, because what? A friend is surely gay. It's just saying that because the law of first mention was not, has not settled yet. The, you know, the parents have not told them, no, this is wrong. When your schoolmate comes, you say, okay, I, I can respect your choice, but it's not okay with me. The child always had built-in theology even to stand against. We are raising sons of Zadok that are protecting themselves against, are guarding themselves against the darkness of this age. It's going to get dark and dark. We know that, right? 
It's no news. It's no surprise. Amen. The seven mountains have been infiltrated. The media, the business, the schools, politics, everywhere. It, it is everywhere. You cannot just hide it. TV is that used to be okay. My goodness. The Bible says, uh, Matthew 6, verse 22, the lamp of the body is the eye. What you see matters. If, therefore, your eye is good, in other words, if your eye is holy, if your eye is pure, if your eye is unclean, your whole body will be full of light. Holiness of the eye. I'm not going to see anything that unpleases God. I will not see anything that Jesus will not see. That's a, a rule of thumb right there. I will not be, I will not see anything that Jesus will not see. And if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. The eye. So guard your eye. The first gate, the eye. So pray, let's pray together. So, oh Lord, I guard my eye. What are the videos you have been watching? It becomes like it's just okay. It's just your standard gets compromised a little bit. You know, it's becomes it's sub, sub the, the enemy is gaining ground. You know, instead of running away and running away and fleeing and going outside of those videos, you're just like, okay, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. The violence was just okay. It wasn't too terrible. It was rated R, but it wasn't that RR. You start creating your own rating R, R, R. Like R, 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 it's, it just gets worse and worse. Guard your eye. The second gate, the gate of the mouth. Ephesians 4, verse 29. Be careful what you say. Amen. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. In other words, guard your mouth. Because there's a tendency, and, and then usually what you say can also be an influence of where you've been. Live in an environment where I told my coworkers, I don't like cursing, so when I show up in a meeting, the cursing should stop. But I didn't tell them it should stop. They just know that they need to stop. Live in an environment where it's all negative, that kills the faith. Become corrupted. Start declaring things that God has not declared. Oh, my family is going to, oh, my family, oh, my children, oh, cursing your children. Holiness with your mouth. Holiness in the things you, 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 you declare. Let no corrupt word, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. We're praying for words that are seasoned with grace. Hallelujah. Declaring the things and the good words of the Lord. Declaring that which God wants to do in your family. Declaring that my children shall serve God. My ch I shall bear generational fruits. Hallelujah. The investment I'm doing, whether financially, whether spiritually, whether, whether I will bear generational fruits. I will not curse them. My children shall serve the Lord all the days of their life. Hallelujah. They shall dwell in the house of the Lord and they shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not, my word will not be corrupt. My words will not be corrupt. Hallelujah. Our words will need to be changed and transformed. As Bishop says that most of the curses are self-imposed curses. Amen. The third gate, the ear gate. What you hear. What you hear usually creates an atmosphere in your imagination. If you fill your ears with... With... with, with uh, um, um, Non-Christian music, you're filling your mind with those words. I have a scripture for you, though. Proverbs 2, 2. Please, let me see this one. Finish off. Do you have the New Living Translation? NLT. I think you should have it. Here. Okay. Okay, you don't have it. Okay. So the, the, the New Living Translation said that 
tune your ear to wisdom. Let, let, me, let me find it here. Sorry, David. Proverbs 2, verse 2, living translation, New Living Translation. Oh, you, you, you can just you can also put the tippity translate tippity after that. Uh, tune your ears to wisdom, to the wisdom of God, and concentrate on understanding. Tippity says that. That's Titus, brother. Uh, Proverbs. Okay. So tune your ears. Your ears have to be tuned to the to, to, to the voice of God. Tune your ears, hallelujah, train your heart, so to say, but tune your ears to listen to where God speaks, hallelujah. You have to train, tune your ears. How can you be listening to demonic music and you are tuning your, instead of tuning your ears to listening to hear the voice of the devil? Tune your ears to listen to when I speak and open your spirit wide to expand your discernment. Say with me, I will tune my ears to hear the word of God. That's why it's important for us to guard the gates, our, our ear gates. It is important what you listen to, what music you listen to, the words uh, of, 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 you know, you're just driving. Just, it just, you're creating an atmosphere around you, especially when you put your headset on. You're creating an atmosphere in your mind. When you put it on, around your house, you're creating an atmosphere in your house. So be careful what you put in. Be careful what you listen. That's why we have to be very careful of our children. What they listen. What they listen. You're creating, you're shaping them into what they're listening. And the last one, the heart gate. Hallelujah. The heart gate. The heart. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to Proverbs 4.23. Proverbs 4, we can stay in TPT. Proverbs 4, 23. So above all, guard the affections of your heart. Above all. Thank God for the ear gate, guard it. Thank God for the, uh, the, the sorry, the, the, thank God for the, uh, the ice gate, guard it. Thank God for the Ear gate, guard it. Thank God for the mouth gate, guard it. Above all, guard your heart. For they affect all. Okay, let's go back to New King James. Hallelujah. Amen. New King James, go to New King James. Yes. Uh oh, okay. Uh, the Bible says that. Uh, yeah, above all, guard your heart. From through it flows the issues of life. Hallelujah. Okay, yes. Uh, so keep your heart with all diligence, for, for out of it spring the issues of life. Guard your heart against envy. Guard your heart against hatred. Guard your ha heart against jealousy. Guard as sons of Zadok. We protect our heart. A brother has done bad to you. You release him into the hands of God. Why do you have to keep that grudge? That heart to keep that grudge. It's so easy to keep it and to make it a big deal and to meditate. The more you meditate, the more you meditate about it, it becomes so big. Your wife has done something against you. You start maximizing. That she, she forgot just to put coffee in, on your, in your table. Becomes like, wow, what is this? It becomes now another issue, the heart issue, the attitude of the heart. The attitude of the heart. Guard your heart from evil motives. Hallelujah. Evil motives, evil intentions. Amen. If you want to serve God, serve God and serve God wholeheartedly, not to be seen, not to please men. Hallelujah. Guard the heart against envy, hatred, jealousy. The, the, those are the issues of the heart. Meditating about evil, evil on someone, backbiting, gossiping. Those are the issues of the heart. Guard your heart against such things. Hallelujah. Oh, before we pray, I just want to. I just want to 
uh, uh, just do a little, little summary of the sons of who are the sons of Zadok. I will just be going quickly. Hallelujah. So first of all, we, we talked about the sons of Zadok uh, are those that say no to sin even when no one is watching. The sons of Zadok don't compromise in the midst of darkness. They, they guard their, their gates. They guard themselves against the corruption that is out there. The sons of God don't compromise on the standards of God. Uh, they don't follow the crowd. Uh, they, 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 don't, they know the difference. They know they are different and, and they know the reason why they are different. They don't just follow the crowd because the crowd is going left. They are going, they are going right. They, are, they don't try to fit in. Amen. Sons of Zadok don't try to fit in because they are not meant to fit in. Hallelujah. I was not meant to fit in with the world. I am meant to stand out and to show Christ. The sons of Zadok are rooted in the word of God. They are not shaken. In times of darkness, in times of darkness, that's where your faith gets shaken. So we pray that our heart, our faith will not fail because we are rooted in Christ. We are taking the armor of God. Hallelujah. They are not pleasers of men. The sons of Zadok are not pleasers of men, but they are pleasers of God. They are not pleasers of society. They have the, context, the constant awareness of God wherever they go. Oh, uh, uh, Joseph was, was in the house, awareness of God. He knew that God was watching. A desire and an increasing fear of God. The fear of God, knowing that God is watching you and you're serving him. A constant and an increase of the hatred of sin. A sons of, of Zadok. Come on, we're going to stand up and pray. Lord, I pray, oh Lord, I pray that I will be counted among the sons of Zadok. Lord, I consecrate, uh, I consecrate at new. As the worship team uh, can just stand up behind me here as we pray. We are just going to consecrate ourselves at new unto the living God. We say, Lord, I pray, oh God, I consecrate my eyes. I consecrate my mouth. I consecrate my ears. Set apart for the living God. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. I want to serve you wholeheartedly. Lord, I pray Oh God, I want to be those that do not compromise on the gospel. Lord, we want, we don't want to compromise, oh Lord, your standard. We pray, oh God, that we shall not compromise your standard. We will not follow the crowd. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Who will be those that will be counted among, oh God, the sons of Zadok, oh Lord. Those, oh Lord, in the midst of darkness, in the midst of darkness, oh God, who will stand out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, oh God, for the four gates in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, oh God, we consecrate our eyes. Lord, we pray that you forgive us, oh God, at times that we have compromised and watched things that we are not supposed to watch, Lord. Lord, forgive us, oh Lord. We pray you clean our eyes, oh God. We pray for a cleaning. We pray for a cleaning of our eyes. Lord, we pray, oh God. Tonight, we pray for a cleaning of our ears. Lord, we pray, oh God, all the dirt that we have listened to, all the wrong atmosphere that we have been in. We pray, oh God, for a cleaning of our ears. We consecrate our ears to the living God. We consecrate our ears to the living God. We confess our mouth, oh God, we will declare the good works of the Lord. Our mouth is set apart, we will not be corrupt, oh God. We pray, oh God, we pray for the gate, oh God, we pray for the gate of the heart. We pray, forgive us, oh God, from the hatred, for the bitterness in our heart. Lord, we pray, oh God, our heart, oh God, consecrated, set apart for the living God. We pray, we guard our heart, oh God, we guard our heart. Lord, we pray, oh God, for a lifestyle of consecration. We pray a lifestyle of holiness. We pray a lifestyle of holiness, oh God. We shall be holy, oh God. Holy unto the Lord. As the priest, oh God, on their forehead was written, holy unto God. We pray that 
that our children in this end time step, we are set apart for God, holy unto God, holy in the things we do, holy in the things we say, holy in the things we hear, holy in the things we have at heart. We pray, oh God, we pray for holiness, we pray for the increase oh God, of holiness in the church, the fear of God in the church of God. We pray for the increase of fear of God in the church of God. We pray for the increase of the fear of God, of the holiness of God, of the reverence of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let now we're gonna pray. We, we're gonna pray that that God will make you go go make you a point of reference. A point of reference in your generation, a point of reference in your family, a point of reference that will bear generational fruit, a point of reference that will bear generational fruit. A, a, the investment that you're making with the kingdom of God in serving God, in loving God, shall bear fruit in this generation, in the generations to come. Come on, let's pray together. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the investment in our lives, oh God, the investment in the lives of our children will bear fruits, generational fruits for your household, generational fruits, oh God, that will be seen, Lord. Even as Zadok invested in the lives of his children, he was not talked about, but it showed later on in life, hundreds of years later, what it produced, oh God. We we pray that the things we invest in at home, in the lives of our children, spiritually, what we invest in them, financially for the gospel, what we invest in them, oh God, academically, Lord, for the sake of the Lord, we pray that in years to come, Lord, it would bear fruit in generations to come for your service, that our children would dwell in your house, that our children would serve in your house, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh Father, we we pray that your investments, Father, will produce bear fruits in generations to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. As the worship team is singing this song, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. I want us to just kneel down and consecrate ourselves to the Lord. Hallelujah. If you feel like kneeling down, you can. Amen.
Lord, we consecrate ourselves as living sacrifice, O oh God. In these end times, O oh Lord, set apart and consecrated to you, O oh God. Lord, we pray, O oh God, of those who will not compromise your word. Lord, those who will not compromise the standards, O oh God. Of those, O oh Lord, whose ear gates are clean, O oh God, hear your voice daily. And those whose eye gates, O oh Lord, are not blind. And those whose mouth gates are not corrupt. For those whose heart gates, O oh Lord, are pure, O oh Lord. Lord, we consecrate ourselves and Holy Spirit, Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that we will cooperate with you as you're showing us areas in our lives where we have compromised, O oh Lord, that we have indulged in, that we have yielded, O oh God, to the temptation. Lord, we pray, O oh God, Holy Spirit, thank you because you convict of sin, which is holiness. You convict of, 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 of sin and righteousness and the judgment to come. Righteousness of God's standard, oh Lord. Any areas in our lives, oh Lord, we would just not align to the standards of God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you reveal it to us so that we may be those, oh God, who are counted not to minister at the gate, oh God, but to minister, oh God, before you in your presence, near you, oh Lord, in the holy of God. as we go during the week, oh Lord, may your word of consecration, may it keep on ringing in our heart, oh Lord, as to hold